Queen doing our annual Christmas <laughs> message. Well, the King, the King now, isn't it? This episode starts in Langothlan, Wales, at the very end of the beautiful Langothlan Canal in the Langothlan Basin. We left the basin a lot earlier than we'd planned and made a very bad decision which put us in a very scary situation. Then we headed for the poachers at Chirk and finally Newmarton Locks, an absolutely beautiful mooring. I've included date stamps in this video so you can appreciate the slow pace of life during a narrowboat winter. Everything about Langothlan was beautiful, even the walk to empty our toilet cassettes. And it even started snowing. It only lasted for 15 minutes and then it was blue skies and sunshine. Even Aldi has a beautiful view in Langothlan. Our original plan was to arrive in the basin on the 2nd of January and leave on the 16th, giving us 14 days to explore the area. You can see the bridge closure and the aqueduct restrictions marked on this calendar too. For non-boaters watching, we find out about these closures from the Canal and River Trust website. Maintenance and repairs on the canal network are typically done in the winter months when there's less traffic and you can search the stoppages by date and canal that you're travelling on. And you can view them as a list or on a map. And then if there's a specific closure that will affect you, you can click to get more details about it. But as we all know, plans sometimes change unexpectedly and that's why January the 9th saw us leaving the basin. There was some confusion over how long boats were allowed to stay. We'd assumed it was 14 days, but then we were told that 48 hours was the maximum stay allowed. Even though we'd bought tickets to moor there. We'd already stayed for a week and we decided that the best thing to do was to leave the basin and not worry about any sort of overstay notice. Basin and get down through Trevor Basin 
before it gets dark. It's about um, 20 past 3 now, something like that. And it's going to be dark in probably 40 minutes. So um, the reason for that is we thought we were going to stay in the Langothan Basin and then spend some time um, between Langothan and, and Trevor and um, because of the bridge closure. Um, but we understand the bridge hasn't been closed at the moment and there's some discrepancy as to how long CRT are letting people stay so we thought we'd just stay on the right side of that and just make a last minute bid just to try and get out before we do close the bridge so hopefully we'll get through the bridge shortly it won't be short when we get there otherwise we're going to be reversing about four miles um, and then we'll probably be going across the um, onto Silty Aqueduct in the dark, I think. That'll be fun. So that could be fun, yeah, could be interesting. So anyway, hopefully we'll make it. We'll, um, we'll let you know when we get to Trevor, I guess. Yes? Yes. Good, excellent. <laughs> going to rewind here so you can see again how much the wind had picked up with the trees and the bushes blowing on the right hand side of the boat. We knew it was a little windier than when we left but we really didn't expect what was about to happen. What was the first day? The 3rd of January to the 20th that the work was going to start on this bridge but it's now the 9th of January today and they still haven't started so we are very relieved that it's still open. And we're going to be making a sharp right turn after this and we'll be heading over the aqueduct. to send back photographic evidence to our friends still in the basin that the bridge was indeed still open. This is the gate they install when they're doing repairs on the aqueduct to stop pedestrians crossing. And you can see the gate that comes across to restrict boat traffic at certain times.
in any hurry do you? <laughs> wow that's quite scary We sat tight for another couple of days, waiting for the winds to die down a little. And with much better weather, we made the short cruise back to Chirk to catch up with friends at the Moorins by the Poachers pub. You can see it marked there, number seven, in the Nicholson's Guide. If you want to see this stretch of the Langothlan Canal in more detail, check out our video on Top of the World on our channel. After a few days together, it was time for our friends Julia and Martin to move on to their next mooring. They headed up to the winding hole, turned around and then went back in the direction of Ellesmere. But as was the nature of our winter on the Langothlan, we knew it wouldn't be long until we caught up with them again. After a heavy frost and even a sprinkling of snow, Pete was clearing the solar panels to take advantage of that lovely winter sun.
This morning was made even more perfect by our chicken neighbours, who provided eggs for our breakfast every day. But after a beautiful eight days, it was time to move on again. Just left Chirk, um, the Poachers, Poachers Inn, I think it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Um, lovely pub if you're ever in the area. Um, and very, very dog friendly. Um, so we've just left there. We're moving down to New Martin Locks. There's a water point down there that we have no water at all. It's, the, it's on empty, isn't it, Pete? Not, not enough even to have a shave this morning. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, enough for coffee. That's the Enough for coffee, of yeah, definitely. And so. tea. So, um, yeah, we're just having a short cruise today just to the bottom of New Martin Lots. Um, and then we'll head to Ellesmere a couple of days later, probably. And then back to our favourite mooring at Blakemere. We're going to stop again at Blakemere, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. our channel regularly you'll know that bacon baguettes are our favourite cruising breakfast.
she's at it too. This was how it was all winter, passing the friends that we've made and giving them a honk. That's the water point just ahead, looks like, looks like there's a couple of boats on the water point. We might have a little bit of a wait. That's okay, we're not in any hurry. There's the water point. The two boats that we thought were on there are moored just, just in front of the water point, so that's good. So, I'm going to get the washing machine going, got a little bit of a wash to do, and we'll fill up and then head through the locks. This is a really easy water point because we're able to moor up right next to the tap and uh, our hole to fill the tank is right next to the tap on the same side. Quick practice with the drone while we're filling up with water. This new toy. really slippy down there, just started sliding down the slope. Somebody's just come up the lock, so hopefully it will still be set in our favour. And yes, it's a leaky lock. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, it's a leaky lock, so we need to open the paddles a bit to let some water in.
wait for me. Pull in and wait for me just there. bottom of my new martin lock and uh, it's absolutely beautiful weather and we're gonna sit down and have a cup of tea and a piece of cake with julian martin there's poppy wants you to throw a ball you ready you missed it poppy bring it back then Come on. temperatures dropping again we woke up to a beautiful frosty scene and ice on the inside of our windows. But we stayed warm and Julie kept us entertained. Let's throw it in. So it's in this one? Yeah. Yes! And then our friends Pauline and Derek joined us and we had this crazy idea of having a barbecue in the middle of January. But being in the middle of nowhere, we had to make do with what we'd got already, which was basically a lot of sausages. I feel like the Queen doing our annual Christmas <laughs> message. Or well, the King, it's the King now, isn't it? Mm. Hello everybody and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, or whatever you celebrate. Or yeah, or whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays. Um, yeah, so it's been a quite a funny year for us, hasn't it? Yeah. We've, um, taking a bit of a break from filming, which has actually given you a chance yes. to catch up. Yeah. On... Well, say catch up. We're, we're only a year behind now. But the, the good thing is, instead of getting lambs in November. November. You're now getting winter when it's actually winter, so being a full year behind is probably a good yeah. thing. But um, so, 
Anyway, perhaps this 2024 will be the year we catch up with everything. I, I think so, yeah. yeah. So um, we treated ourselves to a drone this year, didn't we? So, yeah. And some of that footage now you'll start seeing in, in our latest vlog. So, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you start seeing some drone footage and that's been in the last few vlogs. Yeah. Which has, yeah. I think, improved things, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's good. yeah. Uh, we've had a few people buying us a coffee as well, which has been great. Yes. We we'll put that money towards microphones, as, as we said before, didn't we? Yeah, so, but new audio um, equipment. That's the most challenging said, thing, really, isn't it? Yeah, it would be better if I didn't talk, actually. But, <laughs> <laughs> but engine anyway. noise, wind, dogs barking. Yeah. Um, we know that if we get some lapel marks, they'll improve things. Yeah. For our viewers, won't they, for sure? Yeah. So, yeah, it's been especially this last week has been absolutely crazy hasn't it we've mm. had you may have seen um a, a crazy uh instagram reel with me carrying the dogs through the mud <laughs> and that has gone not just viral, just crazy viral. 35 million views up oh, to now crazy isn't it? which is great because it's brought a lot of people to our channel so we've gone mm. up to 10,000 YouTube 10, subscribers, subscribers this, this week. This week. But and now we're heading rapidly. In yeah, a week. Yeah, so, heading rapidly um, for 11,000 yeah, subscribers, so. which we never ever dreamt we would get to this position nope. with filming with our iPhone, me teaching myself how to use iMovie, and, you know, just muddling along, wasn't it? Well, we do muddle along. <laughs> we it's, still it's muddle like along. It's like life yes. in general, isn't it? It's <laughs> like cruising. So, uh, so we yeah. don't know what plans we've got for this next year. Um, cruising wise, didn't really no. work that out. But um, I think we always say, you know, let's explore down south a little bit more because we haven't done the Kennet and Avon. I think that, that's a possibility. We, we've been down the South Oxford as far as Thrup, haven't we? Mm. But not mm. um, onto the Thames. So that might be in next yeah. year's plan. So and if you're looking at our current vlog of the Gully, we, we've absolutely loved it up yeah, there. Yeah, the Langothlan um, was that, absolutely stunning. That could figure again in our cruising plans in the. Yeah in the nearish future perhaps so. we don't think we will ever top that first winter that we had living aboard on the langothlan well who knows who, who knows, knows what the future holds so. we'll see anyway we just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that watches our videos and we love mm -hmm. all the comments from everybody we feel like we've got such a wonderful like online community now oh, don't it's we? great yeah you know yeah, we have are brilliant same people commenting each week we feel like you know, like a, a personal connection with those people, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's you really spend lovely. a lot of time, don't you, on, yeah. on comments. Answering it's, it's, all the comments. Um, it, it's, it's just one of the joys, isn't it? Ooh, like, yeah. YouTube can be a very anonymous thing, but you make these connections with people that you've never met in real life. Yeah, hopefully that, we might meet someone. Yeah, and then some well, of them we, we do meet, don't we? We have met a few, few viewers this yeah. year, haven't we, yeah. on, the, on the cart? And, and then we've got on the boat and things. so it's many viewers from around the world, haven't we? Especially a lot of viewers in America. Yeah. And it's it's just such a wonderful community that we never dreamt that we would be such a part of, really. Do you do you no. think that at all? No. no. Never no. dreamt this would happen when we well, were moving onto a boat. Two years ago, we didn't, did we? No, so, no. And now here we out. are. Famous yeah. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> a boat that quite a few people recognise now, don't they? Yeah, a few do, yeah. 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 So, but, uh, you anyway. like being a famous dog pub. <laughs> what else we got to become a bit of a diva. Much yeah. most of our yeah. our year we anyway so, so anyway we just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody uh merry christmas happy yeah. holidays and uh, have a absolutely wonderful new year yeah and, and we, thanks thanks again for your support and everything it's great yeah. it means yeah. a lot thank you so thank you bye-bye cheers mm -hmm.